What's up you guys? On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of that stubborn newborn baby cradle cap. A couple of weeks after Pia was born, I noticed she started getting all these little red bumps all over her face. So I took a couple pictures and sent them to her pediatrician um, and he told me that it was actually baby acne and it could be because she has really sensitive skin. So I decided to switch all of her baby products to the Honest brand because it is a very clean brand. Um, so anything from body wash, shampoo, lotion, diaper rash cream, and detergent, I switched over to the Honest brand because of that clean, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic factor. And a couple weeks after I noticed that her acne was actually getting worse, um, I started noticing these little yellowish um, scales coming up in her scalp and her eyebrows. So at that point, I was literally horrified. It wasn't until her four week checkup that I took her to another pediatrician and she was the one that asked me what I was doing for her cradle cap. She suggested I use the Mustela newborn baby shampoo um, because it is formulated specifically to help cradle cap. Apparently, it's a very common condition amongst newborns, so I had nothing to worry about. But it's still very concerning to see your precious little baby with all these yellowish scales in her scalp and her little precious face. So I decided to research a little bit more and see what information I can find out there to help that cradle cap. So what I landed on was this amazing miracle bomb um, on Amazon. It had amazing reviews. People were using it for bug bites, eczema, baby acne, um, so just a lot of things. And I really like this specific bomb because it does say it's organic and it has really clean ingredients like manuka honey, beeswax, and calendula oil. So for that reason, I decided to go for it and purchase it along with this special cradle cap brush. So this combination seem to be very popular on Amazon so I decided to order it and give it a go. I found that the baby shampoo along with the balm and the little brush um, really helped her cradle cap and it is actually finally going away. Okay so I'm going to show you guys my exact routine on what I do using those three products to get rid of her little cradle cap. You want to start by applying the balm on the tip of your finger and then massaging it onto baby's skin wherever you see those yellow scales. So for me, Pia has it all over her hairline and eyebrows, so that's where I'm focusing on the most. After you have distributed the balm, you are going to gently brush with the green side down in circular motions to try to lift the scales. Then with the fine tooth comb, you are going to scoop those scales out. Another very effective method is to apply a very generous amount of balm and let it sit on the baby's skin for a couple hours, then going in with a regular baby comb and gently going over the cradle cap in a back and forth motion just like I'm showing you guys. Okay, so now that we have done all the prep work, it's time to actually get the baby ready for her bath to do the second part of the routine. Okay, so for this second part, we're just shampooing with that special Mustela shampoo that I mentioned earlier. I really like that the shampoo is a foam because it really prevents it from getting into baby's eyes. Honestly, you guys, this is my favorite part of the day. Getting into the bath with Pia and seeing her enjoy the warm water gets me so relaxed. Plus, it's another bonding opportunity since we get to do a lot of skin to skin. Thank you. 
last but not least i take the tiniest amount of that shampoo foam on my fingertip and massage it into her eyebrows making sure i don't get it in her eyes Then I grab a small burp cloth and softly rub it in to try to remove as much of those scales as I can. After I get her PJs on and she's all nice and clean, I apply the Mustela Hydrating Lotion on her face and comb her little hair with a soft baby brush. Alright guys, welcome back and that is it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If your baby has cradle cap and it's stubborn, just be patient and know that it is going to be stubborn but consistency is key. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Bye! So a couple of weeks after Pia was born, I noticed she started getting all these little red bumps all over her face. So I took a couple pictures and sent them to her pediatrician um, and he told me that it was actually baby acne and it could be because she has really sensitive skin. So I decided to switch all of 